A woman goes in for knee replacement surgery and comes out with a huge incision on her belly, from the top of her belly all the way to her groin. You want to learn what happened? It's fascinating. Come join me. I'm Jerry Oginski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury trial attorney practicing law here in the state of New York. A woman underwent something called a unicompartmental knee replacement. That means that her orthopedic surgeon determined that only one compartment needed to be replaced. And so she went in and had the surgery done. The knee replacement surgery went beautifully. The problem started when she was taken to the recovery room. In the recovery room, she's lying there on the bed, and all of a sudden, her belly feels very, very uncomfortable. And she notices that her belly is getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger over a very short period of time, and it's becoming very painful. The nurses come running over. They can't understand why her belly is getting so big. This woman was in her early 60s. It looked as if she had a pumpkin growing inside of her that was growing bigger by the minute. The residents, the orthopedic residents were called. They didn't know what was happening. The attending doctors were called in. They couldn't figure it out. The surgeon was called in to find out what was going on. And the conclusion in the recovery room was, we don't know why your belly is getting bigger and bigger and bigger, but we have only one thing we can do right now. We have to take you to the operating room and we're gonna have to cut open your belly and explore and find out what's going on. Now remember, let's step back a moment. This woman went in to have surgery for a knee replacement. She had nothing to deal with, her, she had nothing to do with her abdomen, with her belly. But all of a sudden in recovery, now she's got this increasing abdomen. What's going on here? We don't learn what went on until after the surgery, after she's back in recovery, to explore what was going on in her belly. Here's what occurred. They had to rush this woman back to the operating room and now a surgeon had to cut open her belly from the top of her abdomen all the way down to her groin. They didn't learn exactly what occurred until after that corrective surgery and then after they went back and spoke to the people in the recovery room. You want to learn what happened? I'm going to share with you exactly what occurred. During this corrective surgery, when the surgeon took his scalpel and made that initial incision into her belly, remember she had never had surgery to her belly before, the doctor heard something very distinct and unusual. He heard a big whoosh, a gush of air, pshhh, like a big balloon had deflated. What was that about? They literally opened her up and they explored her entire abdominal cavity. It wasn't until they spoke to the nurses in the recovery room did they learn exactly what happened. In the original surgery, the orthopedic surgeon had left orders with the recovery room that this woman was to have a drain attached to her in the recovery room. The drain was a, a tube coming out of the knee joint and that and a uh, tube was supposed to be attached to that drain to a wall outlet for suction so that any fluid coming out of the knee joint would then be suctioned out and put away. Well, unfortunately for my client, instead of the nurse attaching that tubing to a suction device, instead it was attached to an oxygen outlet device. The nurse inadvertently took that tubing and stuck it into the oxygen outlet and when she turned that valve on air was being pumped into that knee joint and it had no place to go. So it started going up the skin, under the skin, up her leg, up to her belly and kept inflating and inflating and getting bigger and bigger. And it wasn't until later when they finally recognized and spoke to the people in the recovery room did they realize what occurred. So this woman underwent an abdominal surgical procedure where she had to have her belly opened up and explored for absolutely no reason other than this nurse mistaking a suction valve for an oxygen valve. So why do I tell you this? I tell you this and you're probably watching this video because you may have concerns about the medical care and treatment that you received and you're wondering whether or not you might have a valid basis for a case. Well, the only way to know for sure is to pick up the phone and call me because I answer questions like these every single day and I can answer your legal questions. What I encourage you to do is call me at 516-487-8207 or by email at lawmed10 at yahoo.com. I'm Jerry Oginski here in New York. Thanks for watching.